I'm working on this folding table, or sometimes it's called a card table. It's a Sheraton design, about 1800. There will be quite a bit of figured veneer and bandings and so on uh, on these aprons. Now, what I'm working on now is this leg swings back on a wooden hinge and I'm creating that hinge. This is, these are the two parts, the fixed part that tenons into the back leg on the right side, and then this left leg uh, swings out uh, on this hinge. So I've got the two pieces here. Um, this is the um, well. This is the movable part, and this is the fixed part. And you have to be pretty careful about marking these things out. So what I did is I had these two pieces together on the table, top, top to top, so on. And then I used a marking gauge. Uh, to mark out the uh, cut line and I would do it from the top top of these pieces and then from the bottom and then adjust out until I had all these lines made. I had made full-size templates but ac actually I think it's better not to use these to mark the position of the cuts. Rather it's, I, I think this will be more accurate uh, in this case. So then uh, after marking out with a marking gauge, then I went to the bandsaw and just cut out these uh, parts. And you can see that I have marked the teeth that actually get removed and that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. I I drilled the hole before I did any of the uh, cutting here. So I drilled from the top down on the drill press and then I turned it over and drilled the other half uh, with the drill press. So the, those holes are were already already there. So what I'm doing now is just um, knocking out this waste, and I need to come down here. This is pretty much just like doing dovetails. Um, in this case, on the top side that I'm starting to remove here, I like to leave a little bit of a flat area back here because when I turn this over, that helps to hold that tooth in place while I hit it from the other direction. So. I'll leave that flat part out toward the end of the tooth. These are, I'm using a 5 8 chisel here. And I'll go down about, that's about as far as I need to go from this face. And I can. Turn it over and now I'm going to go again. I'm going to knock out a little bit more. This is uh, seven eighths inch thick 
mahogany. It's pretty easy to work, nice to work. There aren't grain issues with this species. First thing I do is take a little chip out to the cut line. That gets me a little shoulder. Then I can notice that I've already uh, created a nice flat on this top surface. Uh, I did that before. I don't want to, if I just come from this angle straight down without doing that, then I mess up that nice uh, nice cut there. So now I can take out the whole tooth. Now these will these will have to be rounded. I'll do that. I'll, I'll mark it out. Let's see if I've got a. Oh, here's the way these those things are going to get rounded over. This movable one, you round that whole thing. This fixed one, I can just round the one corner. Oops, boy, I gotta take it easy there. Didn't expect that to come out like that. Well, that's it. So, um, what I'll do now is I'll just put this up in the vise and, uh, and clean that up in the middle there. So, what I'm interested in knowing is how these things, this is the moving piece. And this is the fixed piece, and I'm probably going to have to shave some things to, so that they'll go together. Whew. That's tight, see? So I'm going to have to just do a little bit of shaving. Not much. I don't think it'll take much. Uh, and then I'll do the rounding.